your brand globally. Make your venture a success. Unique Times. Premium Business Lifestyle Magazine. With grace, poise and undeniable charm, 21-year-old Harsha Srikant from Kerala has won the coveted title of Miss South India 2023. Welcome, Harsha. Hi. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. So, how did you get into pageantry? Was it something like always in your mind? Uh, so, pageantry was never on my mind, for that matter. I think uh, I, I was never camera shy ever since I was a kid. I used to be in front of cameras all the time. Be it at a wedding or a birthday party, I was always in front of the cameras. So that's probably when my parents recognized my love for photography or like being, being you know, a model or like posing for pictures and all that. Uh, but they never really considered letting me go for modeling or anything as a profession. Uh, later, when I joined my college, Sacred Art College Sevra, I was introduced to the fashion club. Uh, then again, I did two auditions there to get into the fashion club. So I, I had no hopes of modeling. I was like, huh, I'll just try it because I'm height and all that. I just gave it a try and I made it to the fashion club. So uh, I, in, it was a year, uh, uh, an entire year we went for many fashion shows and everything. It was really fun. I love, love, love on, uh, you know, being on ramp and everything. So I think that is when I realized I should probably pursue modeling as a career. And after my degree, I took a year off and then I tried, you know, going for a little bit of shoots and, um, you know, building my portfolio and all that. And then, uh, okay, I started to finally like modeling. I started getting, uh, you know, I started getting projects and shoots and everything. But even then, I was not ready for pageantry yet because uh, my best friend Shweta, she's already into pageants and everything. I know how much effort she puts into all each and every pageant she's going for. So I think I was not ready for that. I was not ready to be on stage to like talk and state my opinion and all that. I did some work. I did some uh, work on myself, uh, you know, and I think only after that I was ready for pageants. And that's when I started to actually do pageantry back in 2022. Yeah. And when you were starting off, what were the things that you like thought of as a challenge? Something that you need to do work on? Yeah, so I think uh, one of the major challenges I faced was stage fear. <laughs> it's very surprising to many people because I am a very talkative person. I talk to a lot of people. I like being the center of attraction and everything in the crowd, okay. But it's totally a different game when you're on stage. Right. When you're on stage, you know you're being judged. Literally and figuratively, you're being judged And it's there. like a one-sided conversation. Exactly, it's like a one-sided conversation. And it's all caught on camera. Mm. And there are a lot of people putting marks for you and then seeing your opinion. And whatever you say on stage, uh, they'll have it in their minds, you know. Okay, this girl uh, is seconding this thing, you know, all that. So I think I was not ready for that. And that was one of my biggest fears, to, to face an audience and actually talk about serious things. Uh, with the poise and grace you just mentioned, it was really hard for me. Uh, I developed, I mean, I got over it uh, through a lot of positive associations I've had. Uh, I'm also a business owner, so I, mm. I, yeah, I had the opportunity to meet a lot of people from different areas, different aspects of life. And you've also done a lot of ads and worked with brands, no? So how was that experience like? It was really fun. Uh, I love doing ads right now, but then it was not the case. I did not know if I could even act. Okay. But then after my first ad, I think I realized it's fun to be in front of camera. It's not really fun when it's an entire day process. But I think I had fun with the crew and everyone. Uh, and it was nice. It was nice. It was really nice to be in front of camera and like, you know, act as a certain character and advocate for things and all that. I really like that. Okay. And 2023 is not over yet. But looking back, apart from Mr. Dinbya, what else is your most proudest moment? Um, so I think apart from Miss South India, I believe Miss Queen Kerala is one of my, uh, yeah, second honor of It's not a small thing for me uh, because it's only my second pageant, Miss Queen Kerala. And uh, to be, you know, the second runner up of Miss Queen Kerala by Pegasus is really huge for me. And I think uh, that is when people started identifying that I have a passion for pageantry. A lot of my cousins, because for Lulu, it was different. I went, I did not even prepare much. So people were like, okay, maybe she got a lot of luck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's what everyone told me. And after after Miss Queen Kara, they were like, okay, she really is looking to, you know, excel in this career or this field. Uh, she's really into this. She's gotten something, she accomplished something. So I was like, I think that is a, a very proud moment for me to be on that stage to wear the crown, which I did see coming, but I did not, I was not sure about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this year for Miss South India, we had. Miss Queen Gala 2023 top 4 and mm -hmm. last year's top 2. So you were competing with all these winners, right? Yes. And Miss Tamil Nadu was there. 
So how was your experience with your fellow co-contestants? I was extremely nervous before going for the grooming session. I was like, I I literally sat down in my bedroom and I was I was counting. I was like, Miss Tamil Nadu, uh, Miss Karnataka. <laughs> I was like, Miss Tamil Nadu, Miss Karnataka, Miss Kerala, two Miss Keralas, uh, runners up, all that. And I was like, it's fine, it's fine. You're good enough. You're good enough. You know, it took me a lot of time to actually <laughs> convince me I'm good enough. Support system. Uh, my parents, definitely my parents. Uh, <laughs> they were constantly. Yeah, I'm an only child, so they're my best friends. Uh, yeah, and uh, I constantly would tell them. I tell them how hard it is, you know, to be competing with amazing, amazing people. But that's the point of competition. I think the harder the competition, uh, the better you become as a person. I am someone who want, uh, who goes for pageants uh, for the process alone. Like the way you develop. I think the me in the first day of grooming is completely different from me the third day of grooming. So I've developed so much as a person. Um, and there's a friend of mine, farmers. Um, oh my god, I have to like give him a big shout out because he's probably the one who sat and listened to me cry all night. <laughs> yeah, uh, yes, we need friends like that. Um, I mean, I have a lot of friends, but I called them up uh, one day while, while I was crying and I told them all the problems I'm going through because it's so much of pressure when you have uh, a lot of good people competing with you. Especially when people expect th- things from you. Your relatives come and tell you, okay, br- 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 you bring home the crown, do that, do this. And I'm like, I'm trying, I'm trying. I can't even tell that. Yeah, so that was really nervous. I I was really nervous about that. But once the grooming session started, I realized how humble these girls are. They're so humble despite the crown they have, despite the position they're at. They're very humble. And we became very close friends. We have a great bond right now. We have an unofficial group. Actually, yeah, we do. And they were also saying how friendly and helpful you were. And that's what we would expect from uh, pageant winner, so yeah, right. <laughs> and Harsha, what do you like to do in your free time? Some of your favorite hobbies? Uh, so I write a little bit. I'm I'm uh, into poems and everything. I like I write poems. Uh, not all the time. Whenever I have that calling, you know, I write poems. I cook. I love to bake. Okay. Yeah, I love to bake. Like cakes and ah, uh, yeah, like cakes and cookies and cupcakes and all that. Mm-hmm. But it's been a while since I baked something. Uh, yeah, but I love to make stress relief. Really yeah, it really stress. Yeah, but I think my mom is uh, my mom and my grandma get stressed when I'm in kitchen because I make a mess. <laughs> it's a stress relief process for me, but for them, I don't know. But yeah, yeah, it's a very stressful process. But I I love cooking in general. I'm a vegetarian, so there's not much things I can cook. Uh, you know here, but like I think I I invent dishes. Yeah. Okay. So by choice, you're a vegetarian. Uh, yeah. I'm right now by choice. Okay. okay. Yeah. So, Harsha, as a certified beauty advisor, what's your go-to tip, beauty tip? Okay, so my go-to beauty tip would be to use sunscreen. I know drinking water is as important as using sunscreen, but uh, sunscreen is very important. It's, it's not just for your beauty alone, it's for your health as well. So, always, always carry sunscreen with you. Use sunscreen, reapply, all that. Okay. And what's your go-to mantra in life or your favorite quote? Hmm. So, my favorite quote, my current favorite quote would be, uh, you are the universe and beyond. Uh, I think uh, it's something I really truly believe in. Uh, you know, you have a whole universe inside of you and you're even beyond that. So whatever you see outside, whatever uh, phenomenon you see outside, you have it within you as well. It's so powerful inside. That's one of my favorite quotes. Okay, now this is a passion question, but I just want to know your thoughts. If you could create a rule that everyone must follow, then what would that be? That would probably be uh, to be grateful. I think it, I think you should also put a fine if you don't be grateful. <laughs> because it's very important to be grateful. You have so many things that you're blessed with. Your family, uh, your friends, food, shelter, water, everything. So many things you could be grateful for, but people choose to not see that, right? So I think being grateful is one thing that everybody should follow. It should be a rule. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and what would be one thing that you felt was the best decision you've ever made in your life? So the best decision I've ever made in my life is to actually be a go-getter, is to actually go do things that I feel like doing. I think uh, I I know specifically when I started being a go-getter as such, uh, right after 2022 uh, initial months, I... You know, I was like, I was constantly facing a lot of issues, getting works and all that for different reasons. Uh, And then that's when I realized how important it is to appreciate every work that's coming your way. And I took a decision then and there to always say yes to all the opportunities coming my way, if if I'm comfortable with it. Uh, Because I used to be someone who used to be like, okay, uh, I'm not doing this shoot. 
for no specific reason <laughs> but when I, when i got to a point where i'm not getting shoots i realized how important it is so i think that's exactly the point i started becoming a go getter and that's one of my proudest decisions mm-hmm. so far yeah and sometimes we just have a problem asking for opportunity exactly and so harsha when was the last time you tried something new i guess it's pretty important the no? things like enjoy the enjoyable yeah so when was that okay so mm, last time i tried something new i think every day i try something new not intentionally uh, i mean i do i do try and do something new every day intentionally i try and learn languages uh, because i think it's really nice to have you know know a lot of languages right apart from english malayalam uh, hindi mm-hmm. tamil or anything uh, i mean hindi tamil and all i think all of us do know um i tried learning a little bit of korean mm-hmm. yeah because i'm an, i was a fan of drama k dramas and everything but that was the beginning of it but i think i started liking the language a lot yes. so um i think i restarted learning korean a couple of months ago so that's probably something new that i've worked upon yeah and what do you think about the importance of social media promoter or as a passion and distance so i think uh, it's very important to reach out to masses you know uh, as a as someone who's advocating something i am a model i am a pageant uh, participant so i think it's very important that you voice your opinion about things and today the easiest way to get to people is social media so using social media wisely is very important because you show yourself you know uh, through your feed right you're not exactly what you are on the feed but you can show a little you know bits and all that of yourself through your feed so it's very important to have a clean feed uh to all or to only put things that you are sure about so as a pageant participant i think if you have something that you're advocating about make sure it's on your feed uh make sure to show what you are on your feed or what you want people to think you are at least so it's very important to maintain your social media accounts like that okay and this time next year no you'll be getting a lot of questions from people who want to get into these kind of things so what would you say to them your advice would be what would be um i my advice i i don't know if i'm good enough to like advice people uh but i think suddenly i'm going to never miss the career for it that's lovely uh my advice would be to never doubt yourself because uh i think that there would be a lot of people who are going to doubt you doubt you your potential maybe including your family is going to question you about certain things they wouldn't be sure about certain things when you say you want to go for miss india or like you want to get miss universe and things like that people would laugh at you people would uh, make fun of you maybe your closest people would do that to you but don't let that affect you uh, be sure about what you want and be confident uh, about what you are as a person understand your potential whatever time it takes how how much ever time it takes it's fine sit there introspect understand yourself maybe take a break maybe take a staycation or a vacation altogether try and understand yourself it's very important okay and how do you see yourself evolving in the entertainment or modeling industry or do you have some other industry you may be interested in like writing or fishing <laughs> so writing is even now it's just a hobby uh, something that i do for stress relief and all that i would love to be a uh, you know an in flight magazine writer someday mm. if possible uh, uh and uh, another field would be uh, entrepreneurship of, of course i, I want to be a very successful business owner and uh, yes definitely in modeling i want to ra- walk you know many international rams and everything for many designers that's another thing i want to do so harsha thank you so much for coming you are very easy to pair with and really intellectually stimulating and interesting and as i want to say uh, all the very best for all your future endeavors thank you so much. thank you so much for having me bye